Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to make a quick video covering summons in Illusion Connect, more specifically the select summon um, banners with the red tickets that you use and talk about how the first two times guaranteed SSR and the, the seventh 10 times guaranteed up partner actually works because I got kind of screwed by it in my summon session and I just want to help people avoid making the same mistake. So let's get into it. So basically in my previous video, I did some summons for Jemmy. And basically what I did was I did two 10 pulls, got my guaranteed SSR, it was a Jemmy. Uh, in the next three 10 pulls, I did get two more copies of Jemmy. So it ended up with three. So I'm pumped with that. But then I went to the place of, well, if I just do two more, I get the guaranteed Jemmy from the seventh. So why not take that value of having a guaranteed one for just two 10 pulls. So I did it. I actually used 4,000 diamonds to get the last 10 tickets that I needed. And then I did that, that 10 pull and I got no SSR. And I like, I'm still like, I'm like for me, I'm not too stressed because I did get really lucky earlier on. And I got three copies, so I'm pretty cool with it. However, I want to avoid everyone getting trapped on these things. So I talked to some people who have spent a lot more and summoned a lot more than I have. And the way it turns out these banners work is when it says first two summon times 10 for one guaranteed SSR partner, it's not saying on your 20th, you get a guaranteed. If you get a SSR on your first summon, you are not guaranteed it on your second 10 times summon. So if you get it before then, you don't get it guaranteed. Having said that, I believe, and I can't confirm this from what I've heard is, if you do get the banner hero on the second 10 pull, you can still get it guaranteed on the seventh as long as you don't get that banner hero in between that. So as long as from the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth 10 pull, you don't get the banner hero, then you will get it on the seventh. But I can't confirm that because it was more of a, that's how we think it works, but not 100% sure. Um, and also, if on the third, fourth, fifth, or sixth 10 pull in a banner, in one of these select banners, if on that third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, you get the banner hero, then your seventh is not guaranteed to have anything, which is really, really strange to me and really sad because um, for me, it just makes it then, but if in my third, fourth, or fifth, or sixth uh, 10 pool, I got an off banner hero, I'd still be guaranteed that, that hero from the seventh. So it's basically removing a guarantee. For me, I'd prefer to see it that if you got the banner hero in the third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, then you'd get a random SSR from the seventh at least. Otherwise, it's just, it's actually hurting you to pull the banner hero earlier. Um, so what can they do about this? I feel like they don't display these things very well. If anyone's played Seven Deadly Sins, they had a really good display for their rate up banners. It had steps and you knew which step you were on. I personally would like to see them change it so that um, in the game, on your 20th on your 20th summon or on your second 10 pull you're guaranteed an ssr no matter what even if you got an ssr on the first one and on your seventh you're guaranteed that hero no matter what even if you got it it's like a bonus that you get from doing these summons because i mean the tickets are expensive i mean 4000 uh 4000 diamonds for 10 tickets is really expensive so i'd love to see them actually map it out um and show you like this is the first node so this is your first summon you do that, okay. This second node, you get a bonus SSR guaranteed on top of your temple. Then you go through the other nodes, they have no extras. And then on the seventh one, it's like, you get a bonus extra hero. It's not gonna be one of the 10 heroes that you summon in there, it's like a bonus. I feel like that would be a much better way for them to do it um, and a really nice bonus for the player base. However, they do not do it that way. So I feel like they need to implement a better visual representation of one, how many summons you've done and two, whether you are going to get these guaranteed things because it is very misleading uh, in the banners. Um, that's just my suggestions. Like I said, I, I always like free stuff. So I'd love it if they did it like Seven Deadly Sins do, where it's just like when you hit that point on the rate up banner, you get that stuff and that's it. Um, however, if they don't want to do it that way and they feel like they're giving too much summons to the player by giving it to them that way, which I, don't, I can never see it as being a bad business decision to 
make your customer happy but hey if that's if that's the thing like it's cool but just have a visual representation to let people know that they are not going to get the guaranteed ssr on that 20th pool or the 70th because i feel like this this is the kind of thing that would really tilt a lot of people like i said i was cool with it because i had insane luck before that um but yeah for a lot of people i feel like this is just that thing that gets them really salty and leaves a real bad taste in their mouth and would make you just walk away because you're like well that's just straight up lying and i don't think it's intentional from them i think there's a lot of little translation errors in the game um where things just don't come across exactly how they're meant to be represented so this is just more of a suggestions to them to try and um, make things more clear so that they don't upset players um because i think it'd be cool but like i said i don't see any issue with them just giving you a free ssr on your second temple and a free banner character on your seventh um on top of whatever else you pull along the way i feel like these summons are rare enough yes you get them from daily logins but one that would be rewarding your active player base which is always a good thing um and two it's it's expensive to get these things so if someone makes the investment to get them it's also nice to reward them for that. Anyway, that is all I wanted to cover in this one. I just, I wasn't gonna make the video, but I was like, this could save some people from making the mistake that I did. So I pretty much cost myself 10 of these tickets and 4,000 diamonds to get nothing. And I'm just hoping that you guys don't make the same mistake. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.